good afternoon students welcome to the next lecture on our subject basics of civil engineering in our today's session we are going to learn about the different types of the dams what is actually a dam at first what are the different components of the dam as uh, in our previous session also we have discussed it but uh, because of the internet connectivity problem uh, i'm not going to share that video with everyone uh, that lecture was not recorded because i have ticket it on mobile so again i am uh, today again i am going to repeat the part which already you have discussed in our previous session and then we will uh, move towards the next part that is the last point of our chapter number 2 uh, that is uh, introduction to modes of uh, transportation and its that is intelligent transportation system okay so that part we are going to learn it uh, but uh, let's take a recap i can say of our previous session which already we have discussed the dams okay we are discussing about the dams we already we have covered up the sources of the water and what is hydrology okay that is the science of the water which deals with the occurrence existence or uh, circulation and distribution of the water uh, in that we have studied the different components or the parts like what is meant by runoff stream flow catchment area okay so precipitation is what how it is been there okay so after that we are going to study the important topic uh, is nothing but the dams but before heading towards the dam uh, let me know do, do you know how to measure a precipitation because already uh, the purpose of the dam is for it may be for your uh, drinking agricultural or industrial purpose but how much of amount of the water that has been accumulated by that particular dam or we can preserve it in that dam that is totally based on the precipitation which is going to occur okay in your surrounding region so how can you measure that precipitation see there are so many instruments uh, uh, that is we called it as rain gauges the name of that instrument is nothing but rain gauges okay so that with the help of that rain gauges we can measure how much precipitation will be there and how it is uh, how much uh, intensity of that precipitation will be okay actually quantity we are going to measure and then we will decide uh, which type of dam is suitable. Hello, just a minute. Hello, ah, sorry for the disturbance. So we are discussing the dams. Let's start with the session discussion. Whether my screen is visible to everyone? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So dams, dam is a solid barrier which is constructed at a suitable location across a river or a valley to store the flowing water and that is why I, as i told you we have to select the proper site for the construction of the dam so that we can store the maximum water which is flowing okay we can store it at that particular place so dam is a solid barrier which is constructed at a suitable location across a river or a valley to store the flowing water now storage of the water is utilized for the following objectives why we are going to store it okay hydropower that is generation of the electricity uh, that is being created or generated with the help of hydropower stations hydropower jala vidyut nirmiti kendra okay now again i will uh, give you some additional information now if you consider our today's electricity requirement okay electricity requirement i think it is more than 13000 megawatt i'm not sure about the exact digits but it is somewhere around or more than that also okay so to generate such a huge electricity uh, and to fulfill this requirement big requirement of the electricity across this oh, india now we are going to focus and we are um, trying to generate that electricity through these hydropower stations why this hydropower? Not with the any uh, atomic energy stations. Because first reason uh, there we are going to require big amount of the fossil fuels. Okay, 
to burn heat and then we can generate the electricity mothe parman madhe dagli kolsa lagnar ahe tumhala ushnik vidyut kendran madhe thik hai ani it's a it's a non renewable source of energy so why to waste it we are having the water okay and we can utilize it for the generation of electricity how by constructing the hydro power hydro as everyone knows the meaning of the word hydro hydro is nothing but water so water power stations so actually what they are actually going to do i will show you the nice picture of it also how the hydro power world stations are there in my upcoming presentations but still for your information that stored water is been imparted uh, is been sent to the hydro power station on the turbines okay because of the flow of the water with the force the turbines are started rotating and they are generating the electricity okay now whatever the water after utilization after create generation of that electricity we can again reuse it we can again uh, you reuse it whatever the water which is sent to the tail end okay and that is why this plays a vital role and this is the advantage biggest advantage that we are having we can utilize the same water again and again again and again to generate the electricity okay the best example we are having the hydroelectric power station which is at guhagar in maharashtra okay in maharashtra that is near to thane okay thane madhe guhagar manane hydro power station ahe and they are they are um, uh, setting up the two reversible pumps okay having capacity around uh, uh, 1.25 or something that capacity is there 1.25 megawatt okay so every day they are whatever the water they are using they are recycle they are reusing that water reusing that water for the generation of electricity same water huh? they are using it for the generation of electricity how it is there i will show you in the next few slides irrigation that is the next uh, objective that you have to follow everyone knows agricultural is the biggest sector that we are having and to serve the agriculture to serve the different um, products that you are serving in your field agriculture land you require the water and that comes under the irrigation pad bandare jala mantla jata pana cha distribution shetkarana kela jata thik hai irrigation projects so we require the water then water for the domestic consumption that is for our drinking purpose everyone knows we require almost 135 liters of the water for a single person in a 24 hour span so you just imagine how much quantity of water that we are using okay already we have discussed so i am not going to take so much time drought and flood control okay drought and flood control where we are having excessive drought okay excessive drought or the flood condition it may be uh, the flood that you have experienced in our previous uh, uh, previous year okay the flood control uh, flood situation which is in kolhapur in uh, sangli region that has been arised okay so and drought may be in the different sections of all over maharashtra all over india like vidarbha region where for the last 3 4 years there is no single drop of rain okay so for that again we are using the dams and the water it need for navigational facilities again we are going to use it other additional utilization is to develop the fisheries yes this is the again uh, the business which is uh, developed and uh, developing and uh, it is spread widely okay fisheries ओके खूब पैसा है फिशरीज ऐसी बिजनेस मध्य ठीक है मत्स्य उद्योग आदेश ज्यादा जी है कि ज्यादा मशी पैदास के लिए जाते संवर्धन के छान पैकी खाद्य प्रोवाइड कर खाद्य फिशरी का बिजनेस खूब चांगला डेवलप है सद्या ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द डैम नाउ इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द डैम you will come to know what are the different components see as you can see uh, i will show you the part wise okay now this is one structure of the dam that we are having see it's a body that i am going to presenting you okay hey ashi body aste baga dam chi structure of the dam jala mantla jata ardan dam gravity dam basically asha paddhatine asto okay upstream at the left hand side of the dam there you are going to store the water the part or the portion of the dam where you are going to store the water we called it as upstream side and the downstream side is that particular portion where after opening of the gates that water is released and it is uh, sent somewhere okay so that is the downstream side next is nothing but you are having the hill portion okay hill is nothing but the 
top bottomest portion of the particular bottomest portion of the upstream side okay that we called it as hill portion and next is nothing but toe portion okay so the bottomest portion at the downstream side we called it as the toe portion this is nothing but can anybody tell me the answer gallery inspection gallery okay not gallery it's a inspection gallery that you are having okay then this is nothing but anybody can tell what is this dotted lines what are these dotted lines do you get the meaning sluice way do you remember the purpose of this sluice way i think it, in our previous session also we have discussed na sluice way okay don't bother again i will going to explain this is your i think crest part okay spillway yes within inside the dam that is having crest portion then this is nothing but can anybody tell me this line what does it indicates upper line what does it indicates see the two dotted lines that you are having yes repeat it water chi level sir water chi level but that light green color dotted line what does it indicate normal water level normal water level okay good normal water level the answer is correct and what does this indicate mwl yes mwl maximum water level okay and in between the normal water level or the maximum free water board. level there is a free board correct yeah, yes sir okay <laughs> tk now you can see where is that free board okay yes free board okay good see the hill portion okay the contact area with the ground on the upstream side okay the contact area of the ground on the upstream side we called it as hill portion basically uh this hill portion or the at this uh, hill portion you can see uh, what i can say that openings are been provided like screen uh, screeners are been there okay so that whatever the leap of trees or big size impurities that will not enter into the uh, whatever the water which is flowing at the downstream side okay just to remove the debris and all that we are having that uh, particular things okay so that is the contact area at the downstream side abutment that is the side of the valley on which the structure of the dam rest okay sides of the valleys on which the structure of the dams rest just a minute i will close it ah, yes then galleries small rooms like structures left within the dam for checking the operations divergent tunnels tunnels which are constructed for diverting the water before the construction of the dam see this is very important before the construction of the dam we have to divert the water and that helps us in keeping the river bed dry okay then spillways it is an arrangement near to the top to release the excess water of the reservoir to the downstream side okay sluice way an opening near to the dam near the ground level which is used to clear the silt accumulation in the reservoir side okay if there is silt accumulation definitely it is there you, you go in any particular dam okay you are going to see the silt silt means it's kind of some impurities or uh, we can say or some silt silts are present okay mati wagaire je kai nadi cha prahav sobat vahun alele aste gaad theek hai tamade silts cha percentage rahta theek hai and that you have to remove it next uh, types of the dams already we have started with the discussion of this also what are the different types of the dams okay as you can see the dam body here reservoir force okay see this is the direction in which the force is going to be act okay so whatever the water pressure see whenever you are going to construct the dam you need to consider this water pressure you need to consider different forces uh, first is your reservoir force okay 
that has been acting then cell fate of the dam as you can see this has been shown in the downward direction the arrow which has been shown okay cell fate of the dam reservoir force then gravity dams okay now the first type that you are going to discuss these are the dams massive dams of the concrete in which the whole weight acts vertically downward the whole weight acts vertically downwards now again again you remember whatever the bottom portion of the dam again the capillary pressure or this uh, seepage flow is going to be act okay the capillary pressure is always acting on the dam also okay from the bottom side so this is the first type of the dam that you are having gravity dams these are the heavy and the massive wall like structures of the concrete in which the whole weight acts vertically downward okay so speciality the entire load is transmitted on the smaller area of foundation such dams are constructed where the rock are component uh, competent and stable okay so basically uh, now the main focus now if you are going to see at any particular site our main focus is to construct the gravity dams okay the uh, design life of such dams is around 100 years 100 years huh? of the gravity dams next type okay uh, sorry the next picture as you can see this is the picture of a dam uh, anybody has visited this dam only by looking at the picture can you imagine which type of which is the dam is it pahle kadhi ha dam okay now i will show you okay as you can see the name which has been there bhakran angle that is the highest concrete gravity dam in the asia and second highest in the world okay and this has been present in india okay i think it is in himachal pradesh bakran nangal dam yes himachal pradesh that has been constructed on the river satluj satluj nadi varti bandhat alela ha dam ahe himachal pradesh madhe bakran nangal bharatatla sagalat motha dam theek hai concrete dam the construction of this project was started in the year 1948 and in completed in 1963 so almost it has taken 15 years to construct okay such a big dam uh, some highlight or key points related to this dam it is a 740 feet high above the deepest foundation a straight concrete dam okay been more than three times the height of qutub minar length at the top is 518 meters and width is 190 meters width and at the top 9.14 meters 30 feet this uh, crest portion so bhakran angle dam okay don't call it is only bhakran dam so bhakran angle dam is the highest concrete gravity dam in the asia and the second highest in the world okay in india we are having this dam buttress dam the next category that you are going to study as you can see this is the buttress dam okay buttress can anybody tell me the meaning of this word buttress yes it is been there in your screen so buttress dam is a gravity dam that is reinforced by the structural supports what are the buttresses buttresses are the supports that transmit a force from a roof or a wall to the another another supporting structure okay buttress is dam see this is the buttress dam that you are having you can see the picture okay kasha paddhatine bandla baga buttresses ahet okay jase apan patre astat na ghar patre kashe astat rashi thik hai wave like formation asto baga tyacha madhe tayar kelele tasa buttresses madhe ashe wave like te concrete che structure tya paddhatine build kelele astat thik hai बटरेसेस आणि तो जो पोर्शन असतो तो कशासाठी यूज केला जातो टू रिजिस्ट द फोर्सेस ओके नाउ द ट्रॅजेडी व्हिच वाज हॅपेंड इन द लास्ट मंथ मे बी इन दैट उत्तराखंड सो द वन डॅम व्हिच वाज फ्लोन अवे आई थिंक सम पोर्शन इज ऑफ दैट सम पोर्शंस द बटरेसेस आर प्रोवाइडेड आई एम नॉट श्युअर बट एज आई हर्ड इन द न्यूज आल्सो बटरेसेस डॅम ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द बटरेस डॅम next portion or the next type arch dam arch okay as you can see the picture we are having uh, these are the dams of the concrete or the masonry dams which are curved or convex in upstream in the plan okay just a minute adios please
okay sorry for the disturbance so buttress dam uh, sorry arch dam that you can see uh, we are having the best example of this arch dam okay i will show you in this picture also the shape that is the curve shape okay curve shape hai, like a arch okay arch manje sagalana mate curve portion okay so this shell uh, helps us to transmit the major part of the water load to the abutments okay ata abutment sarvanna maiti ahe abutment manje nemka kay can anybody tell me what are the abutments abutment can any anyone elaborate on this what are the abutments but uh, have you seen bridges bridge bagitla hai sarvanni bridges bagitla end of the end of the bridges along the span yes 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 good जो अपना ब्रिज कुछ ब्रिज नॉर्मल जो तुम्हें ब्रिज बढ़ता ठीक है जो ब्रिज ऐसी स्टार्टिंग एंड पॉइंट ठीक है स्टार्टिंग एंड एंड पॉइंट ठीक है तो जो वॉल ऐसी सपोर्ट ना वॉल सपोर्ट ठीक है अबिटमेंट अटल जता ब्रिजेस मध्य मैं तुम्हारा इन डिटेल संगेल नॉट गोइंग टू टेक सो मच टाइम ऑन दैट ठीक है कि एखा पिक्चर तो दाखिल मैं तुम्हारा पूरे द आर्स डैम्स आर बिल्ट अक्रॉस ए नैरो डीप रिवर गॉर्जेस but now in the recent years they have been considered even for little wide valleys also manje actually ya uh, arch dams ya hai he kuthe provide kartat jithe tumcha kada deep river gorges astil narrow chike kiwa wider valleys astil khol daran madhe chike ta asha tikane tumhi he arch dams provide karu shakta chike ya asha paddhatine cover portion asnare chike arch dams arch dams cha saglat best example ahe hoover dam okay i can show you one video also of that hoover dam okay uh, not in this lecture because i just forget it uh, maybe next lecture remind me i will show you uh, okay in the lecture also ongoing lecture also the construction of that dam aplo koyna dharan sudha kasa banlele na tasa pan ek video ahe aplya kade theek hai khup older ahe manje jya vastu construct kelela hota but that is for your additional information kay tar interesting vatil tumhala chan te pa ha sa arch dam asto theek hai see this is the arch dam uh, have you seen this picture before this previously ha top view ahe dam cha baka ti palikadchi upstream side ahe jithe river flow ahe ani ikadchi je ahe downstream side ahe see this is the arch dam biggest arch dam uh, in the world i can say okay i think it is hoover dam this next is ardhan dam so or arth dam jala mantla jata mati cha dharan ठीक है द शेप ऑफ द अर्दन डैम एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अट्रैपल शेप अर्दन डैम्स वे आर है ठीक है अपल कोई जायकवाड़ी जे धरण है मातीच धरण है शेप मे है ठीक है बेसिकली अर्दन डैम ऐसी शेप जो हा ट्रैपल शेप ठीक है अर्दन डैम्स ओके सो अर्थ डैम्स आर इन ट्रैपल शेप दीज आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड वे आर दी फाउंडेशन और दी अंडरलाइंग मटेरियल दी फाउंडेशन और दी अंडरलाइंग मटेरियल और दी रॉक्स आर वीक टू सपोर्ट the masonry drawn okay earthen dams are relatively smaller in height and broad at the base theek hai base la te broader hai ani height techi kami ahe theek hai the these are mainly built in a with clay sand gravel hence it is called as the earthen or rock filled dam sagrat best example ahe aplya kade tumcha jaykwadi dharan theek hai pathan cha je ahe nath sagar dharan jala mantla jata Ardhan Dam is and having the capacity more than 76 TMC, one of the biggest dams in Maharashtra. Okay, the dam construct करता है ना 320 गांव I think as per my knowledge more than 300 villages. So area occupied के लिए लेते हैं dam. ठीक है. तुम्हीं तो dam वोटी के लिए तुम्हारा खंड ऐसे इतनों इतनों पूर्ण पानी दिस है like the ocean. ठीक है. आप लोग अगर उजनी dam जो आए उजनी dam सा catchment area खूब मोटा है मुझे पानी थोड़ा सा विभाग ले रहा है even in Koyna हम दिस उधर ठीक है कैपेसिटी जारी जास्त तरी तुम दिशा नहीं एवड मोट पानी साचव तस जायकवाड़ी डैम च नहीं है जायकवाड़ी डैम मतलब तो जो वॉटर स्टोरेज जो एरिया है ठीक है तो इट इज द बिगेस्ट ओके आई कैन से इफ यू गेट द चांस ठीक है अशा पद्धति ने अर्धन डैम्स तुम्हें बोलू शकता है माथी चरेन ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दी बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ द डैम्स दैट यू हेव स्टडीड ओके now let's let me share you the new screen so that we will discuss with the different parts also 
Okay. My screen is visible? No, sir. Okay. Now it is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So where we are at, yes. Different components of the DAF. Uh, this section already we have discussed. Huh? Paraffet wall, downstream side, upstream side, we have discussed. Types of dams, as you can see by the structure, we are having arch dam, gravity dam, buttress dam, uh, then barrages, earth embankment dam, rock fill dam, concrete dam, earth fill dam. By the use, we are having saddle dams, weir dams, check dams, tra dams, diversionary dams, underground, then tailings dams. By the material, we are having two types, steel dam and timber dam. Other types are coffer, natural, and dual dams. Okay. So we will start with the one. This is the arch dam that you can see. Je pahile picture tumala da kalu ta. Chike hai asha padde tu sa shape astu kaise? Arch shape. Chike. It's a shape like an arch. Okay. So the arch dam is a solid dam made up of bedrock of the surrounding area and that is curved in shape. Okay. That the upstream side of this river. See, je upstream side bhakte tumi. Okay, so the upstream side of this river, okay, shape hai, this is curve shape. Okay, this dam is designed so that the force of the water against it, known as hydrostatic force, means the pressure applied to the dam, the hydrostatic pressure against the arch, okay, presses the, against the arch, compressing and strengthening the structure as it pushes into its foundation or the abutments. Okay, arch dams. We are not going detail about each and every type. Huh? Just you are having the introductory part, but for your additional knowledge, I'm explaining it. Gravity dam, as I discussed with you, a gravity dam is a dam constructed from a concrete or a stone masonry and designed to hold back the water preliminary by preliminary utilizing the weight of the material. Gravity dam, self weight, which is acting in the downward direction. Okay, the biggest important point. Okay. Next, buttresses dam. Okay, buttresses as you can see the picture over here. A buttress or the halo dam is basically a derivation of the gravity dam with the introduction of the intermediate spaces. With the introduction of the intermediate spaces. With the help of this buttress uh, dams, the face of the dam is held by a series of supports or the buttresses that are placed at at intervals on the downstream side. These are not there at the upstream side. These buttresses are provided exactly at the downstream side. Okay. Then arch gravity dams, poor dam, as I told you the case in USA, we are having the biggest arch dam. Okay. Barrages, as you can see, Asha barrages say to you Linear gates It is in Maharashtra. Okay. I think uh, in so many uh, places you have seen this particular barrages. Okay. These are the embankment dams, earth fill basically. Okay. Earthen or embankment dams. This is the same thing. Preposital shape. Okay. Earth fill or the embankment dams. These dams are built up by compacting successive layers of the earth by compacting successive layers of the earth using the most impervious materials jithun pani percolate honar nahi pani penetrate honar nahi impervious to form a core and placing the more permeable substances on the upstream and the downstream sides okay impervious face asla pahije tya dharanancha otherwise uh, that dam will get vanished within few months okay pani sobat vahun jail jar te pervious asel tar Okay, impervious mode of any adolescent in terms of okay, then concrete rock filled dams, saddle dams. Now, what are the saddle dams? Saddle dam is a subsidiary dam of any type of any type constructed across a saddle or a low point on the perimeter of a reservoir. Okay, Jay Nadisazo Kinaras, which is a periphery as the perimeter. Okay. Ashatikan at a perimeter over the Ekada Unsabak Tarkarnath, Mati Samana, your concrete Samana, and tell us saddle dam as a month later. Take a saddle dam as a month later. At the Weir's Munjit Sky. Weir. Okay. Anybody wants to say something? 
Maybe somebody is playing with the Bhargav Daki, roll number 16. You want to say something, Bhargav? No, sir. Okay. I think wind is blowing across you. Okay. Okay. What are the weirs? Okay. The point that we are interested to discuss a weir or a overflow dam. See the meaning carefully. Is a type of a small overflow dam that often that is often used within a river channel, within a river channel to create an impoundment lake for water obstructing purpose and which can also be used for the flow measurement and retardation. Okay, manjus kai, weir dam, weir manjus kai, the overflow dam. Kasha sati bandha dato. It is often used to create the obstruction. It is often used to create the obstruction. Jawas nadi patra zo asna re. Okay, manadi madhum pani flow hota hai. Ani zar te tumal adhoy chasil. To kasha sati tumi obstruction takta. Jite pani adhoyle zata. Ani adhoyle nantar pani adhoyle mulo. He je pani asna re thamna kitas pani adhoyle zana re nantar te overflow hoon. क्या ब्रिज या पलीकडे जाणार आहे हा जो काही पोर्शन तुम्ही कंस्ट्रक्ट करता त्याला वीर डॅम असं म्हटलं जातं आई थिंक हाऊ मेनी ऑफ यू फ्रॉम पंढरपूर प्रॉपर पंढरपूर इफ यू आर फ्रॉम प्रॉपर पंढरपूर कॅन यू टेल मी दिस वीर व्हिच हॅज बीन प्रोव्हाइडेड इफ समबडी इज देयर फ्रॉम पंढरपूर कॅन टेल मी वीर कुठे बघितलाय रे पंढरपूरात आहे का आपले वीर सी दी स्ट्रक्चर इज देयर इन आवर पंढरपूर इटसेल्फ वियर्स म्हणजे काय पर्पज आहे पाणी अडवलं जातं अडवल्यामुळे पाणी तिथे अडल्या जाणार आहे किती वॉटर आणि जर परत तुमचं वॉटर फ्लो होत आहे म्हणजे पाणी एका स्टेजला त्या ब्रिज वरनं किंवा तो जो काय डॅम पोर्शन तुम्ही बांधलेला असेल स्ट्रक्चर बांधलेलं त्याला ते क्रॉस करून पलीकडं जाणार आहे बरोबर आहे असं स्ट्रक्चर बघितलंय का पंढरपूर मध्ये ओके इफ यू आर नॉट फॅमिलियर विथ दॅट आय विल टेल यू दॅट एक्झाम्पल आय थिंक एव्हरीबडी हॅज व्हिजिटेड विष्णूपत टेम्पल करेक्ट आहे so if you go to that vishnupat temple very close to it very close to it we are having the weirs okay that bridge small bridge that you can see that not, that is nothing but the weir and that is nothing but kt type weir kolhapur type weir jala mantla jata okay aple irrigation madhe khup mahatvacha ha part asto kt type weirs basically he weirs sab kaam kay asta ta pani adavne ani tyanantar te pani overflow hot okay adi basic purpose hai pani adavne sathi okay नदीचं पाणी अडवण्यासाठी एका स्पेसिफिक पर्पजसाठी असं तुम्ही बघता उन्हाळ्यामध्ये पाणी कमी असणार आहे चंद्रभागेला ठीक आहे हे पाणी फ्रीली रिलीज करून चालेल का आपल्याला तर नाही सांगेल तर ते पाणी अडवण्यासाठी हे वियर्स असतात हे वियर्सला गेट आहेत जर तुम्ही आपल्या इथलं जर बघताल के टी टाईप वियर आहे ठीक आहे त्याला गेट्स आहेत ठीक आहे ज्यावेळेस खूप पाऊस पडतो त्यावेळेस पाणी तुम्हाला रिलीज करावं लागतं नाही तर ते डॅमला डायरेक्ट वाहून येतो वॉटर प्रेशरमुळं बरोबर आहे तुम्ही आडू शकत नाही फार फास्ट मग अशा काही वेळेस ते गेट ओपन केले की त्यातून हे पाणी परत पुढे फॉरवर्ड होत ठीक आहे जर नदी इकडे मुंडेवाडी या रिजन कडे जाते ठीक आहे सो नियर टू दिष्णुपट टेम्पल वी आर हॅव्हिंग द फेमस टाईप ऑफ वियर दॅट इज के टी वियर कोल्हापूर टाईप आणि त्याची इन्फॉर्मेशन पण दिलेली बघा तुम्ही जर बघितलं असेल तिथे एक इन्फॉर्मेशन बोर्ड लावलेला आहे त्यांनी ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट दि वियर्स everyone is getting very well yes so check dams and the dry dams next is the check dam is a small dam designed to reduce the flow velocity and control the soil erosion athe ashe dams tumhi tumcha gaavamade baghitle asel he thik hai sarvatra bagayla bhetil tumhala check dams thik hai kasha sathi vaparta बांध टाकणे थोडक्यामध्ये ठीक आहे बट कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चरचा बांध असणार आहे ठीक आहे सो द चेक डॅम्स आर डिझाईन टू रिड्यूस द फ्लो वेलॉसिटी ठीक आहे पाण्याचा वेग कमी करण्यासाठी अँड टू कंट्रोल दी सॉइल इरोजन ठीक आहे टू कंट्रोल दी सॉइल इरोजन ओके ड्राय डॅम्स दीज आर दी दीज आर नोन एज फ्लड रिटार्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स इज अ डॅम डिझाईन टू कंट्रोल दी फ्लड ठीक आहे पूर आल्यानंतर पुराचं पाणी कंट्रोल करण्यासाठी हे ड्राय डॅम्स स्ट्रक्चर बांधलेले असतात then divergent dams and the underground dams okay now this is the divergent manje ithe tumhi baghu shakta hai ha jo bridge as ha jo tumcha dam asnare dam cha hi downstream side hi upstream side hai you can see the arrow arrow path hai tumhi screen varti so this is your upstream side this is your downstream side ani baka hya dharnacha pani ikade sudha divert kelela hai theek hai 
धरणाचं पाणी इकडे डायव्हर्ट केलेलं त्यानंतर अंडरग्राउंड डॅम्स दीज आर दी डॅम्स युज टू ट्रॅप द अंडरग्राउंड वॉटर दॅट इज अंडरग्राउंड डॅम वी आर नॉट गोइंग डिटेल्स टेलिंग डॅम्स स्टील डॅम्स टिंबर डॅम स्टील डॅम म्हणजे स्टीलच्या स्टील वापरून तयार केलेला डॅम आणि टिंबर डॅम्स म्हणजे लाकडी जे काय तुमचे टिंबर आहे ते युज करून बांधलेला आता हे स्टील आणि टिंबर डॅम्स दे आर व्हेरी रेअर ओके इतका कोण खर्च करत नाही कॉफर डॅम्स कॉफर डॅम्स आर दी टेम्पररी स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर बिल्ड जर तुम्हाला पाण्यामध्ये जर एखादं कन्स्ट्रक्शन करायचं असेल तर ते पाणी ज्या सेक्टरमध्ये कन्स्ट्रक्शन करायचं आहे ज्या पोर्शनमध्ये कन्स्ट्रक्शन करायचं आहे तिथे पाणी थोडा वेळ अडवलं जातं ठीक आहे मग पाणी अडवण्यासाठी जे स्ट्रक्चर बांधतात त्याला कॉफर डॅम म्हटलं जातं सो इट्स अ टेम्पररी स्ट्रक्चर हा बिल्ट विद इन फॉर पेअर अक्रॉस ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ द वॉटर इन द इनक्लोज एरिया ठीक आहे आणि त्यानंतर हे वॉटर तुम्ही पंप आउट सुद्धा करू शकता किंवा नंतर ते परत पाण्यामध्ये त्याच्यामध्ये मिक्स अप करू शकता ठीक आहे बिवर डॅम्स नॉट फॉर यू पॉवर जनरेशन प्लांट्स हायड्रो पॉवर स्टे जनरेशन प्लांट्स येस दीज आर सम डिजिट फॉर यू हायड्रो पॉवर इज द लिडिंग रिन्युएबल सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेशन सप्लायंग सेव्हन्टी वन पर्सेंट ऑफ द रिन्युएबल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऍट द एंड ऑफ टू थाउजंड फिफ्टीन ठीक आहे ऍट द एंड ऑफ टू थाउजंड फिफ्टीन द अनडेव्हलप्ड पोटेन्शियल इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टेन थाउजंड टन मेगा वॅट आय थिंक अराउंड दॅट इज देअर पर इयर दॅट इज बीन मेन्शन i think uh, some digits for india uh, the global hydropower capacity increased by uh, more than 30% between 2007 to 2018 accounting to a total of 1209 gigawatt in 2015 of which 145 gigawatt is pumped storage okay and now i can um, yes before proceeding or heading towards this uh, hydropower station ठीक आहे छान पिक्चर मी जसं तुम्हाला म्हंटल की कसं तयार होते इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ठीक आहे हा तुमचा टर्बाईनचा सेक्शन आहे ठीक आहे आणि हा तुमचा हायड्रोपॉवर स्टेशन आहे याच्या तिथे डिस्कशन साठी जाण्यासाठी आपण एक महत्वाची गोष्ट मी सांगतो तुम्हाला नाव आय जस्ट फॉरगेट द एक्झॅक्ट डिजिट विच आय हॅव नोटेड आय हॅव अटेंडेड वन कॉन्फरन्स अँड देअर आय कम टू नोट द डिजिट अप टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फायव्ह आवर स्टेट गव्हर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र uh we are having the target of uh generating around 1000 megawatt somewhere some digits are there okay of the electricity through the hydropower only hydropower stations okay jika amount hai around some 1000 1000 crore amount is been invested on that particular projects nowadays i will tell you the in detail uh, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow about that project which our state government has started okay बट येस कमिंग बॅक टू दी पॉइंट हायड्रो पॉवर इलेक्ट्रिक स्टेशन ठीक आहे नेमकं हे जलविद्युत निर्मिती केंद्र म्हणजे कसं असतं सो ऍज यू कॅन सी इन द पिक्चर देअर इज रिझर्व आर ऑफ द इंटेक स्ट्रक्चर ठीक आहे ठीक आहे हा तुमचा डॅम आहे ही डॅमचा मेन पोर्शन आहे हा तुमचा डॅम आहे आय विल यूज द पॉइंट येस सो दिस इज युअर डॅम मेन बॉडी मेन पोर्शन ऑफ द डॅम दिस आर दिस इज युअर रिझर्व आयर दिस इज द इंटेक दिस इज वी कॉल्ड एज पेन स्टॉक ठीक आहे म्हणजे काय होते धरणातलं पाणी हे पेनस्टॉक द्वारे पेनस्टॉक म्हणजेच काय पाईप हॅव्हिंग लार्जर डायमीटर व्हॉट इज पेनस्टॉक पेनस्टॉक इज नथिंग बट ए पाईप विच इज हॅव्हिंग दी लार्जर डायमीटर मोठ्या डायमीटर असलेला पाईप त्याला पेनस्टॉक असं म्हटलं जातं ठीक आहे सो दिस इज द पेनस्टॉक द वॉटर फ्रॉम द डॅम इज टेकन थ्रू दिस पेनस्टॉक अँड इट इज बीन देअर रिलीज टू दी हायड्रोपॉवर प्लांट्स मग हायड्रोपॉवर प्लांट मध्ये इथे बघतो तुम्ही टर्बाईन मग हा टर्बाईन कसा असतो इथे क्रॉस सेक्शन दिलेल्या बघा ह्या टर्बाईनचा ठीक आहे हे टर्बाईनचे ऍक्च्युली वॉटर कसं येणार आहे हे वॉटर असं फ्लो होणार आहे हे टर्बाईनचे ब्लेड्स आहेत दीज आर गोइंग टू रोटेट दीज आर गोइंग टू रोटेट ओके अशा पद्धतीने रोटेशन होणार आहे रोटेशन झाल्यामुळं त्या ब्लेड्सवरती पाणी जोरदार हे टर्बाईन फिरतं आणि ज्या वेळेस ते टर्बाईन स्पीडली फिरतं कशामुळं फिरतं पाण्याच्या फ्लोमुळं ठीक आहे इथे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट होते इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट झाल्यानंतर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट झाल्यानंतर थ्रू द पॉवर हाऊस दिस इज बीन ट्रान्समिटेड टू द लॉंगर डिस्टन्स आणि त्यानंतर हे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेशन झाल्यानंतर हे जे काही टर्बाईनचं पाणी आहे ते परत तुमच्या रिव्हरला सोडलं जातं याला टेल एंड वॉटर असं म्हटलं जातं टेल एंड वॉटर ठीक आहे हेच पाणी जसं मी तुम्हाला ते गुहागरची केस सांगितली होती ना जस्ट अ मिनिट डिअर स्टुडंट्स
Okay, sorry for the disturbance. Uh, as a as you know, we are going to uh, somewhat our uh, university is going to reduce your syllabus because as your semester was started little bit late. Uh, that is from 18th of January it was started and now semester is going to conclude in the next month that is in the month of April maybe by the end 30th of April or 20th of April in between that okay so we are um, our as per the resolutions from the government of Maharashtra and uh, as our university has decided um, some portion we are going to reduce it so let us see what will happen and the details I will tell you in uh, after all. and that is what uh, the disturbance will be there okay so that electricity has been transmitted through a particular city okay so this is the working of the hydroelectric power stations okay so dear students uh, today we will stop here at this particular moment only the rest part of this uh, our the particular discussion we will take it in our next session so if you have any doubt with you, please unmute yourself and you can discuss with me if you have. Otherwise, I will take your attendance.